Who would have thought 7-Eleven would come out with their own makeup line? Not me, but I'm gonna test it. Hey guys, it's V, and today we are going to be doing a lasting impression review on the 7-Eleven Simply Me Beauty Cream Lipstick. I picked this up from my local 7-Eleven. I also did a V Vibes and Vents on this makeup look here, so if you want that, I will put it in the eye for you. I think I'm going to put this video up first though, so you'll have to wait a little bit to get to that one. But I'm going to be testing this cream lipstick out for you guys today. I didn't pick up a ton of stuff from the new 7-Eleven. 11 Beauty. The lashes that I'm wearing are from there. I tested out one of their blending sponges and I also, what else did I get? I feel like, oh, I got a brush from them to try out and some makeup remover wipes and then this lipstick so that I could do a video for you guys seeing how it works. So this was $3.99. So nice low price. Everything from the 7-Eleven Beauty had a really like low price to it. I'll show you guys a clip of like the whole display, but honestly a lot Lot of it didn't really appeal to me but this cream lipstick looked like a beautifully gorgeous color so I wanted to test it out for you guys so let me go ahead and read the back of the packaging I'll go ahead and show you guys up close what it looks like here so you can see I will try to get my glare out of it here let's look there this is in the color wine as you can see simply me beauty and then on the back of the packaging here it says indulge your sensuous lips in this ultra soft and nourishing lipstick that provides a super smooth finish and rich vibrant color so I'm excited to test this out now this is a just cream lipstick so I'm not expecting crazy long wear out of it but I'm just hoping that it's a good lipstick because it's really really inexpensive and I just hope that that it feels nice and moist on the lips and that it you know keeps them nice and moisturized all day long like it says and that it has a nice vibrant color that isn't going to skip that's why I got one of the darker shades to test for you guys because every once in a while you're in a pinch and you need to run into 7-eleven and grab something and they sell like some basic makeup products but this is a whole line of stuff and sometimes you need a deep vampy lip to complete your look so that's what we're gonna test today I just popped right off there accidentally when I was taking it out of the packaging. So this is what the lipstick looks like in the little tube here. It's cute packaging. It's got kind of like a, not rubberized, but a nice matte finish on there. You can see it's got the name wine on the bottom there. And then it's got on the top, it shows you what the color looks like, which is great. I love when lipsticks do that because then you know what the color is. So the packaging does feel slightly cheap but it was $4. So I mean, it was very inexpensive. So it, it, I would be surprised if it felt extremely luxe. So the inside has a nice silver and this is what the lipstick looks like, you guys. Oh, it's much lighter than I thought it was gonna be. It's a little bit more of like just a reddish berry kind of color, but that's fine. We're still gonna test it out anyway. Let's zoom in and put this on my lips. I did have a little bit of lip balm on, so I'm just going to wipe that off of my lips real quickly here all right so nice moist lips ready to go with this lip color let's put it on you guys can see Ooh, got a little bit of a like crayon smell to it not my favorite i feel like it's not going to taste good at all from that smell so let's go ahead and see what we're working with here with pigment and all of that here's the true test Oh wow, nice and pigmented. And the color is pretty. This color is like really pretty. I like it a lot. Okay, you guys, so that is it applied. It actually went on super easy. It's really, really soft and comfortable on the lips. It feels nice and moist. It doesn't taste like anything, which is great. I would rather it taste like nothing than taste gross. So this actually, I really like this so far. It looks really good. It doesn't seem to be transferring to my teeth or anything. I feel like the color is really, really beautiful. I would say it's a little bit misleading because the color on the packaging here looks like a much deeper purpley color, but it does look like the 
end of like the tip of the tube so I guess they kind of like you know they they luck out with that <laughs> oh my god I wish you guys could see Sakari right now in fact I'm actually gonna take a video of her on my phone because she looks so cute right now she's sleeping next to peeps little carrot so guys we're just gonna wear this throughout my day lasting impression style and I will check in with you guys and see how it wears it is 12 45 in the afternoon now so I will check in with you guys in a couple of hours and see how it's wearing right now I actually have high hopes for this it feels really really comfortable and it was really pigmented going on so I'm hoping that it's good throughout the day you guys like my new tennis shoes they're new balances I thought they were really chic and cool looking and hopefully they distract from the fact that I haven't shaved my leg in a week and a half <laughs> do you like them she sounds like I don't like the fact that you're leaving I don't care about your shoes the amount of holiday sets in Lush is unbelievable. Although literally everybody wants Lush stuff. I mean, I love Lush stuff, so can't blame anyone. Ooh, how pretty is that? Stop! Is this really a thing? A fidget spinner and it works. Stop! That is so funny. <laughs> This place is one of my all-time favorite stores. They have the best gifts. Fuego, such cute stuff. 40% off of a Jigglypuff key ring. Oh my god. I feel like I need to get it. <laughs> That's nice. That's really nice. I love squeezing into my car. That's my favorite thing to do. Wow, I really can't say I'm surprised that you have that on your mirror because you parked so close to other parking spots. All right guys, it is right now just after three o'clock. It is 3.19 in the afternoon and I'm sitting at Sonic because it's happy hour and I'm gonna get a cherry limeade, but, and also some mozzarella sticks probably, yeah. So I thought I would check in on the lipstick since it's been about two and a half hours since I put it on. It still looks really good. Sorry for the terrible lighting here, but uh, you guys can kind of see what it looks like. It honestly doesn't look different at all. It hasn't faded at all. It still feels like insanely comfortable, which is awesome because this is a $4 lipstick from 7-Eleven. Like I was not having high expectations going into this, but this is actually super comfortable. The color is really pretty. I was complimented on it when I was shopping. Yeah, I really like it. So I guess I will just check in with you guys again in another couple of hours after I eat. I will show you guys what it looks like. So this is what it looks like before I'm eating. I'm going to get my food, bring it home to the pup, and then eat, and I'll show you guys again. Have you been a good pup? Have you been a good pup? Are you dancing? Are you dancing because you're so happy at home? What are you doing to me, <laughs> you goober? Alrighty, so I just finished eating here. It's about 3.45 now. So um, as you can see, definitely had some transfer onto the lip. Cigar and me are just chilling. Um, had a little bit of transfer onto the lip, but I did have a sandwich, so pretty normal for a regular lipstick. Honestly, this stayed on really, really well for the most part. Like, that's a pretty graceful fade, I would have to say. Like, of a lot of the lipsticks that I've tried, that one is pretty graceful. You knew. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, wipe that off a little bit. Might have to reconceal a little bit and I'm gonna reapply the lip color real quick. Really didn't need that much reapplying actually. It like was pretty much still on there just on the inner part of my lip where I was eating it came off so not too bad you're gonna clean yourself behind me now god I can't avoid it with any of my animals <laughs> all right so I am just gonna check back in with you guys in another couple of hours please don't lick my lipstick please I swear it's never ending big piles of laundry in this house <laughs> Is this your Shakira? Is this your Shakira toy? We called it Shakira because literally everyone calls her Shakira. Because <laughs> they always say her name wrong. So we named it Shakira. This is her little toy that I bought. That is mauled. It had a rope tail. Cut that off. Because <laughs> she kept trying to get it. And she immediately popped a hole in the belly and the stuffing was everywhere. So had to uh, had to take that out as well. So it's a corpse. The corpse of Shakira. <laughs>
Look at Sam's cute little air plant and her little group in here just chilling. All right guys, so it is currently about 6.45 in the evening, so I thought I would do my final check-in. We're actually about to go work out, hence why I am wearing a different shirt now. So this is what the lipstick is looking like. Honestly, looks pretty good. It does look like it's faded a little bit more than it had earlier. So you can see there, it has kind of gotten a little bit darker in some spots, but when I came over here, Sam said that it was a pretty color and that it looked really good. So from far away, you can't really tell. And I just have to say that I personally really, really like these. Um, after just trying this one, I wish that the other colors weren't so bright because I probably wouldn't get those. But the wine color is so, so pretty and it's $4 and it's so comfortable on the lips. Like I am blown away by how nice these are for the price the packaging like I said it's kind of cheap it's not the best but I really really like the product inside the packaging so yeah that is everything for this lasting impression review I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did be sure to show some love to the like button down there and if you subscribe you can be a member of my Muse family and I love you guys so so much thank you all so much for watching and I'll see y'all in my next video bye guys